I am a hot mom and not a hot mom in the sense that ooh, she had a baby and she's not back but I feel like I'm a hot mom in the sense that I am a lot more resilient I am a stronger person and I feel so powerful I feel like being a hot mom is more of a mentality it's saying you got you when you feel like you don't got it while raising a beautiful human being and it's prioritizing yourself prioritizing your family and honestly doing the best you can with what you have Needless to say, life is good. I'm finally at a place where I'm truly feeling good and that's on me being a hot mom. For the past two weeks, two and a half weeks actually, I have not properly worked out until today. Irina got sick for a bit and when a baby gets sick, nothing else matters. The house is in shambles, nothing else matters until baby girl feels better. And then guess what? I got sick and that took a while. My body doesn't heal like it used to. Now I feel like I can move again, I can breathe again, I don't have an annoying migraine and I'm finally ready to like ease in to working out again, to feeling, to feeling myself again. Also, how do we feel about the boho braids? I feel like it's giving... Oh my god, don't we miss that? Don't we miss the... It's absolutely amazing, gorgeous. Oh my god, am I feeling myself? I am a menace to society. Do I want to go work out? No, I really don't. I just want to sit inside my house and marinate in my bed. But I also know that if I don't go work out, I'm going to have a regret. A regret? I'm going to have regrets. The fact that I've been paying for a gym membership and it's been almost three weeks that I haven't gone to the gym is very painful. There's the motivation that I was looking for. Also, I did my hair like this. I don't know, is it cute or is it giving bald? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know what that was.
that I made probably too much of my breakfast and I don't think I'm gonna finish it all. That could also be because I literally had one fourth of a white chocolate bar for breakfast. So here we are. The gym today was actually, it was okay. It wasn't like my best session. However, this is me getting back into the swing of things after about quite some time. But today was the first day I've gone back into the gym after quite some time. It wasn't my best, but I'm really glad that I went because I did something and I did something for myself. And I think part of being in this self-development era that I'm in and being in this hot mom era that I'm in is honestly like loving myself enough to do the things that are good for me. Like obviously getting your hairs done, hairs, getting your hair done, nails, shopping, all the things. Aesthetics and vibes are great, but like there's no point in all of that and self-development if you're not doing the internal work as well. So today was a bit of a struggle, but I'm actually really proud of myself for going. And I'm also really proud of the fact that I did not beat myself up for not maybe going as hard as I could have, as I should have. But I also realize that is progress on my part. I feel like old me would have been like, oh my God, you didn't go hard enough, which means today's session didn't count and you suck. But I'm like, you know what? We went in, we did the damn thing to the best of our abilities. And it's like I'm building up resilience. Instead of being negative, I'm being more positive. I'm being more, is optimistic the word? I just, I don't know. I'm just not beating myself up and I don't feel bad for not, Going as hard, am I? Am I growing? Am I progressing? Am I becoming her? I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. Walk away from it, it's just dead. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's dad's advice, but no. I, you could if you wanna. I have been going through a transformation for quite some time now. I feel like I talk about this all the time, but in previous videos I've talked about like, the hardships of motherhood and how I feel like it's definitely gonna be a moment of character development for me. And I truly feel like I'm at the crux of it or rather the climactic turning point. It's giving main character moment right now. And I truly feel like I am a hot mom. I feel like normally hot moms are associated with looking aesthetically a certain way, like sexy, bombshell, put together, all the things. That's not what I mean. Because nine times out of 10, I am not physically giving that because I'm literally in sweats, trying to eat three meals a day while making sure my daughter stays alive. I definitely want to hammer home that being a hot mom to me is not an aesthetic, but a mindset. Being a hot mom means giving yourself grace, giving yourself the permission to do the best that you can with what you have. And sometimes that looks different for every day, for every mom. Sometimes you have the time to work out in the morning, go to work and make dinner. Or sometimes the only thing you can do is wash your face, get your kid to school, and then do the best that you can throughout the whole day and sometimes shit falls apart but you give yourself that grace that patience that love because here's the thing motherhood is hard as fuck all right that shit will kick you in the ass and then turn around lick you in the face and make you feel like it's all your fault and it's not babe you're doing the best that you can with what you have and that's what it feels like i feel like to truly be a hot mom it truly is showing up for you showing up for the little ones in the best possible way and doing the best that you can with what you have needless to say life is good i'm finally at a place where i'm truly feeling good and that's on me being a hot mom you can't tell me otherwise i could be marinating in the same sweatpants two days straight with an oversized sweatshirt and a face mask on and i'll still be a hot mom it's giving range. It's giving I can put on a bodycon and serve looks and still be in sweats the next day with my hair up and still serve a look. What kind of look? Questionable maybe, but still hot. I don't care. I don't care. I don't know what to wear because the weather in the east coast is so unpredictable literally in the morning 
you'll have to wear a jacket because it's too cold and by the afternoon it's hot as tits and you want to expose your kneecaps and show your toes and by the end of the night it's cold again and you need a jacket i know i feel like i should wear this with straight leg jeans but then what if i get too hot this is so frustrating this is so annoying this is the outfit that i think i'm going to wear i got this top from aritzia i love how it like lays structured like right here and then these are just some straight like jeans you can find similar jeans at abercrombie they have a great great straight leg jean line i think it's like vintage straight leg okay this is the look why do i do that when i'm awkward i make like weird faces and stand awkwardly okay this is the fit what do we think i don't know there's just something kind of off or maybe i'm just being so nervous and like super anxious like you know when an outfit is so much better in your head or like when you're at home getting dressed up and then you go out and you're like why did i put that on oh uh, gold earrings that are probably gonna turn my ears green later have my watch bangle from goriana and then my bag which i live in day in day out is from anthropology and i'm wearing sambas i know what you're thinking Shoes in the house slim, you know better. Yes, but I'm going to mop my floors. I was so nervous for a number of reasons. One, just going out was freaking me out. And I am still learning how to dress my body because I'm a curvier person than I was before. So I'm still in the midst of learning, but I look cute. What was I nervous for? Uh, I gotta go. Thank you.